Welcome back everyone, it's another video from Electrified oh, Night oh, um, Nothing beats me. And in today's uh, video I'm going to talk about the quest of pilgrimage in chapter 2 uh, found in the swamp. Oh, bring up the nothing beats me. The swamp forest and this is where I am and I'm speaking to a character, AI character called Gramps. Uh, so he is the person that gives you the quest called a pilgrimage. Yes? I'm looking for work. Ah, swords. I suspect I know the type of work you seek. Perhaps you could escort me to the chapel for my prayers. I'm old and no longer good at driving monsters off with my staff. I was thinking about paying work, but all right, I'll take you there. Okay, so we've accepted the well, I'm ready. for the pilgrimage, and what we need to do is we need to escort Gramps to his home. Uh, but first, what we want to do is on a coat silver sword with necrophage oil because we're going to be fighting drowners, bloodzoigers, etc. Um, those are the main uh, monsters that we're going to be fighting and we need to make sure that we keep Gramps alive. Uh, the other thing I want to do is make sure I drink a swallow potion so I'll be drinking that in a second. And those are the two main things that you want to do. Uh, again, we want to use a silver sword because we're fighting monsters. Don't want to be using a steel sword. So I'm going to take that out and I um, wanted to make sure that I've got the fast style equipped right off the bat, which I do. So I'm just going to drink that solo potion and off we go. Just want to make sure Gramps is following us. So first place we're going to go through, we're going to pass through is the clay pits, uh, where we're going to fight some drowners. fighting any drowners today is because I've actually already completed the quest um, that's given by Vasca, so I'll open up that one. So it's the one that's given by Vasca clay pits, so that's why there's no drowners there at the moment. Uh, we're also just about to come up to um, a where there used to be an Arcus for, for the quest Bloody uh, Bloodthirsty Vegetation. Now, I would encourage you to make sure that you kill this Arcus for and do this quest before attempting um, to take Gramps across. As you can see, I've not faced any monsters so far, and with the Arcus for, it is close death, and especially with Gramps there, he's more likely to die. Um, before you're able to kill the Arcus Boar, so I definitely recommend making sure that you complete that Bloodthirsty Vegetation quest before going. Uh, and the Arcus Boar normally spawns, spawns around about here, so it will normally spawn here. So let's just make sure Gramps is still following us. So as you can see I used a fast style on that drowner, using the strong style would have been ineffective and you would have kept on dodging. Uh, 
Here we are. Thank you, son. I'm not your son. I like you. Visit me sometime. I'll show you my books, serve you some tea, and goulash. You're a witcher, yes? I'm another of your kind recently, but he lacked courtesy. He demanded to know about the Circle of Elements. Another witcher? What can you tell me about him? Well, not much, son. He wanted about asking questions, and looking like one with a sour stomach. I'm not so interested in that. Yeah, I know, I know. He feared something, or someone. Spent most of his time near the pits, where those village idiots burrow in clay. Thanks, Gramps. That helps. Now, he's offered you another quest in his house, which is around about up here. There we go, it's Gramps' hut. When you go there, do not have his goulash. Um, I'll cover that in another video as to why you should not have Gramps' goulash. Uh, there is an option there which talks about a missing boy, and there's a bit that talks about Berengar, a witcher that you're trying to find out, you know, whether he's still alive or not. Um, the one about the lost boy is what ties into Gramps, um, so stay tuned for when I talk about that in another uh, video. Uh, thank you, and uh, that's it, everyone.